to tell us how these families are coping this holiday season. That's right, Sherry. I spoke to a daughter of a 63-year-old man by the name of Richard Johnson and the mother of 39-year-old Amber Arnett. Both have been missing since this summer. Now with Thanksgiving a few days away, they are asking the public to not forget. We really miss our dad. It's been more than seven months since Jessica Johnson's dad disappeared without a trace. You know, it makes your daily, easy daily task a struggle, you know, because you're always wondering what else can I be doing? What am I missing? And with the holiday season here, it's gotten harder and harder for her to cope without a sign of 63-year-old Richard Johnson. I loved cooking to impress my dad. I loved hearing him tell me how good everything was. And I don't get to hear that this year. The last time we met with Jessica was back in July when she told us her dad disappeared on May 7th near Plum Tree Apartments. Sadly, she's not the only one Six News has spoken with this year whose family members have vanished. All of her stuff is here. Oh, you know, her, her mail still comes here. Marty Arnett's daughter, 39-year-old Amber Arnett, has been missing since June 25th. She was last seen near the Dollar Tree on South MLK Boulevard. Her mom says it's hard for her family to find any ounce of joy this season, but they are not losing hope. We want to celebrate Thanksgiving, but she leaves a big hole, you know, and it's the mystery of where is she? We will deal with whatever the outcome is, but we need an outcome. We're still waiting for updates from Lansing Police on Arnett's case and Eaton County Sheriff's for Johnson's case. For both families, they just do not want their loved ones to be forgotten. I really hope that if my dad is out there and he hears us, that he knows that he is truly loved. There is a large cash reward for tips that lead to finding Arnett, and LPD says that that case is still very active and lots of resources are being used to find her. For Johnson, she says she's looking to hire a private investigator at this point to help find her dad, but they are not the only ones in Michigan who are still missing. If you want to find out more information about other missing persons cases or to help the families mentioned today, head to this story at WLNS.com. Sherry?